Hey there, we're gonna go ahead and get started on 6.3. So the 6.3 PowerPoint should be pulling up on your screens. Just a second. All right, there we go. So 6.3 is a continuation of what we talked about in 6.1, just this idea of systems of equations. Systems of equations are, again, um, where multiple equations work together and you can find solutions of these systems by finding the common points that they have. Um, but today specifically, we're gonna be looking at systems of equations in three variables. I will tell you that if you have three variables, you must have three equations. That is the only way you're gonna be able to solve um, systems that have three variables. So we've been dealing in 6-1, we had two variables and two equations. Those variables were X and Y. In this case, we're gonna have three variables, X, Y, and Z. Okay, and we'll have three equations. So let's just jump into it. Identify the solution um, to the system of equations. So we have the system of equations and we they want us to check both of these and see which one is a solution or if both of them are solutions. So of course we can use our calculator to help us with this. So in my calculator, let me just quit this app um, and I'm gonna get into it so you have that all on video. So second plus 712, that's just how you clear your calculator. Um, we're gonna go into math and go in, I'm sorry, no, we're gonna go into applications, that's apps. And we're gonna go and find the polynomial simultaneous equation solver, which is the ninth option on my calculator. Yours may look a little different, but this is what my application looks like. You're gonna choose a simultaneous equation solver, but this time we're gonna be dealing with three equations and three unknowns. Auto, that can be if you wanted to give it to you um, in, in just a real number format or a decimal um, or a fraction or whatever type of format you want your number to be delivered to you in. Um, the mode of the calculator, so I'm leaving it in normal. Float would mean that it will just float the decimals out. It won't round to a specific decimal point. And then radian or degrees, we'll leave it on degree. Okay. So I'm going to go next, which this next key actually is from the graph. And you can see that it's asking me for all my coefficients. So I'm gonna go back over here and I wanna find the coefficients. So I'm gonna kind of create a matrix. And if your calculator um, has you write yours in matrix format, then this is really gonna help you. So this coefficient is one. So my first entry will be a one. This one is also a one, so we'll one. This is a negative two. So the second entry is negative two and the answer column is negative three. So you can kind of separate those so that we have the coefficients of X, Y, and Z. And then we have the um, constant numbers. So then we have two, negative one, negative three, negative nine. This again is negative one. So pay attention to that, okay? And then you have negative one, one, four, and 13. So if it's a positive number, we just put that. And if it's a subtraction, we're gonna write that as a negative um, number. So then I pull up my calculator. I'm gonna type those values in for my coefficients. I'm gonna not worry about the pluses. I'm gonna leave them all as plus and just change the value by what I indicate as my uh, coefficient. So I'm gonna put negative two there instead of minus two. And that's totally fine. I'm just going in and entering each of my coefficients. And you wanna make sure you do this right because if you do it incorrectly, you will end up with an incorrect answer. So, uh oh, so there we go, four and then 13. Okay, so I'm just double checking one, one, negative two, negative three, two, negative one, negative three, negative nine, negative one, one, four, 13. Okay, and then solve is what I wanna do. So I'm gonna click graph, which is a solve. And it's literally just spits out X equals one, Y equals two, Z equal three. And that is my answer, indicating that this would be the solution. 
with it being x, y, z coordinate pair, or coordinate triple, I'm sorry. All right, and number, well, this is slide three, basically allows us to just check our work. So you'll want to substitute in the values for the first one and see if they come out um, with the right answer every time. Well, it works in the first one, but the this does not work in the second one because we end up with negative 10 equals negative nine. So we knew that that was not a solution. This is just showing you how to do it by hand. And then you check the second one and obviously it works in each of those equations, meaning that this is truly the solution. And believe it or not, that is 6-3. We are done with 6-3. Um, the next video you'll see is for 6-4.